Let's take a look at the difference between automation and modulation in Ableton Live's clip envelopes. We can view the envelopes box by clicking over here. Currently, we're looking at the automation lane. This is the filter frequency parameter, and you can see it's measured in hertz or kilohertz. Now, the modulation lane will always show a percentage value. Let's switch over to the device view. Let's try setting up some automation for this parameter. I'll right click and select Show Automation. And over here, I'll create a pattern. If I right click on the line, I can select a shape. And then I can select that shape and hit Command D to duplicate it. You notice how I'm making use of the grid for this. Let's slow this down. All right, so that's automation, pretty straightforward. Now let's take a look at modulation. Modulation is essentially an offset to the parameter. So right now, if I was to click and drag this line upwards, I've offset the automation to a higher value. If I bring it down, I've offset it to a lower value. And if this was slow enough, so you can see how the blue curve on the parameter is showing the result of the combination of modulation and automation. Now we can make that modulation a bit more complex. So instead of just adding an offset, we can just create new patterns. So again, I'm going to right click and insert shapes. I'm going to change the grid here. So now my shapes are restricted to a 16th note. Back to an 8th note grid. And now let's select this and duplicate this. I'll speed up the tempo again. We could even scale this. I'm going to select all and then drag this point downwards. I can click and drag this point upwards. We're always hearing the combination of the automation lane and the modulation lane affecting the parameter simultaneously. So you get the idea. Here's a different automation pattern I created. No modulation here, but I can offset it. I can also dynamically scale it like this. Randomly add in some additional shapes here in between. Let's hear this with a beat. You can get some pretty interesting results by combining complex automation shapes along with complex modulation shapes. 
So that's the difference between automation and modulation. A simpler way to understand it is to think of it as two separate automation options for the same parameter. I hope that was helpful and please stay tuned for more.